Hi everyone, my name is Bruce Schwartz. We got hackers rolling the view counters backwards, taking subs down. Please subscribe and thank you for coming back. Um, satellites, can, can they collide? They talked about a Chinese or Russian satellite, supposedly a collision on the 21st. Uh, this was caught before the 21st, this one here. And the other one you'll see later, you know the one I'm talking about turning around. Uh, what was caught on August 21st. So what are these objects? Could aliens be shooting these satellites? Could uh, debris be coming from the sun or meteors, asteroids could have hit these satellites? You wonder what, what can be going on and I guess lots of possibilities are out there. These are always just theories and uh, it's important to share theories and not confirm anything. Let me tell you something, my friends. Science is a theory in itself. Ask the most uh, intelligent person in the world that and see what he answers you. I'm pretty sure he's going to say, well, duh, of course. Check it out. Looks pretty severe. Uh, it'll be even more severe when I show you the solar flares from today, the 25th. This is August 24th, 2021, at exactly 4.30 in the afternoon. And I was filming the sun, and there's all these uh, dark spots. And, of course, solar flaring, which we're going to take a look at. And uh, we are going to go see a beautiful surface of the moon that I uh, was able to capture yesterday uh, pretty late as it came up over the houses because it's been um, oddly placed these past few um, weeks, actually, during the moon phase. So a conversion, exposure taken down, that's on the sun, and you can see... Like these are massive, as I'm always saying, far larger than Earth. Earth is very, very small compared to the sun. And uh, so they say, right? We have this information online. Is um, everything we read the truth? We'll never know, but we do have to depend on some information, right? If not, we wouldn't know anything about the sun. <laughs> you know, all these theories. But again, people stay stuck on, on uh, theories often a lot. I'm pretty open-minded and I stay, uh, um, I stay not on one theory that's for sure and uh yeah so this is um this was all on august 24th so now we're gonna go see the moon for you all get some music up and then we'll come back and we'll talk about what i caught august 25th today on the sun much more so solar flaring many black spots the sun's very agitated and of course leading up to 2025 the sun is supposed to get even stronger Chrysium. Look at all the little objects side by side in groups and formations. If anyone thinks that's natural, they'll never see the structures on the moon. There's no filtering here. Mare Chrysium, of course, is the large mare right here. Now I'm going to show you something. Now tell me, if this isn't the base, what is it? If you tell me it's natural, well, I'm really not in the right field of research. I should change my field of research. Check this out. Starts off there, the lines, but look here. Over six, seven lines, one over the other different heights, and dark lines that go inside of the ground, which, I don't know, asphalt is dark, isn't it?
There are too many professional people, well-educated people, thinking silly things about the moon. And it fascinates me, really fascinates me. When basic common sense tells us so many things otherwise, even the opposite of what science is telling us about the moon, that's just my belief. What about the fires on the moon, which literally looks like you're looking at the sun and a fusioning on the surface? Fusion. That's exactly what we're looking at. Look at the line, dark line that goes down to another bright surface. They're doing something. They're producing something on the moon, that's for sure. Whoever they are. Imagine top professionals telling it that this is a creator. Professionals and me with no scientific education disagrees 100% with them. Now let's head on over to August 25th, which was a few hours ago. Um, look at that. Bottom side of the sun many sunspots and solar flares uh yeah everywhere they're changing around the magnetic fields are aligning themselves so they say what is that supposed to mean is it going to be good or bad for earth right in reality what i've noticed 100 percent of the time when the sun reacts this way we get many storms here hours after by the way and you'll see I'm not a liar, and it's the sun speaking, not me. A few hours after you will have seen this image, you will start seeing once again more hail videos, floods, earthquakes, and seeing it's hurricane season gets pretty worried. It really worries me. You can see another solar flare starting, a bright one on the outskirts west side of the sun so they occur quickly they can last up to hours to even just minutes this is a negative image quite simply So I was on Jean Claude Beyond Mystic um, 03. So, so I was on Jean Claude Beyond Mystic 003 channel and had a wonderful interview. Thanks again, Jean Claude. Um, I told you before I had the interview with Jean Claude about this object looking like there's two objects. Well, Jean Claude said the same thing when I showed him this object going by. 
And, you know, sometimes people can see different things, but it's always fun when we both see the same thing. And I can literally, literally see a line between two objects that are pressed up side by side that we see going by and that are both turning simultaneously, aligning themselves up, which actually makes it look like sort of like a square, right? But it could be a square, but still, it looks like there's two objects. Thanks, everyone. Cause the slow just coming soon. The slow just coming soon.